Okay, so I'm so let's start our technical snap, and you are appearing in bar interview, and today you opt strength of material, correct? Yes, sir. So first of all, uh, let me tell you one thing: you should give your answer very precisely, correct? Okay, sir. So now we'll start your interview. So first of all, tell me what is strength of material? the strength of material uh, is a uh, uh, is a uh, is a subject uh, with uh, which deals with the uh, deformation and the force and stresses of uh, of solids okay and what is strength uh, strength can be defined of uh, a uh, strength of any object can be defined uh, as the uh as the power by virtue of which uh, it can uh, it can resist its uh its failure its failure yeah so can you tell me the mode of failure sir a uh, failure can be classified as a uh, ductile failure or the uh, brittle fracture failure and there can be other classifications like by i mean how the failure can happen like the fatigue failure okay okay suppose you have a bar correct and it is subjected I... to an axial load suppose you okay. have a bar okay. whose okay. unit is fixed you can also draw you have okay. a bar Hmm. Whose one end is fixed, and another hmm. end we have an axial load P. Okay, sir. And its cross section is rectangular, and uh, in which the width is V and depth is D. Correct. Okay, sir. Suppose if if you consider this bar is made up of brittle material, correct? Okay. So now tell me. now tell me this bar fails from which plane with respect to loading plane with respect to loading plane yes okay uh so if it is brittle material then it will be fail on a plane uh, which is perpendicular to the direction of the load perpendicular to the direction of load sure for brittle material uh, it should uh, fail yeah okay instead of a uh, tensile load axial load if we can apply a pure torsion then mm. if we are applying pure torsion right yes so and material is same this is brittle material okay sir so then a uh, pure torsion then it will fail uh, at a plane uh, uh, which is uh, angled at 45 degree uh, uh, from the direction of the load uh, pardon tell me once again it will uh, it will uh, it will fail on a plane Uh, mm -hmm. which is uh, which is angled at 45 degree uh, from the direction of the load and suppose if it is ductile then if it is ductile yes uh, ductile and pure torsion yes ductile and pure torsion ductile and pure torsion uh, sir then it will fail uh then it will fail again uh, on the plane uh, uh, which is perpendicular to the uh, i mean perpendicular to the uh, uh, to the axis of the bar to the longitudinal axis of the bar perpendicular to the longitudinal axis of the bar correct okay yeah. now tell me what is beam sir beam is a member uh, which is uh which is mainly supposed to be 
subjected to the transverse forces subjected transverse to forces transverse subjected to uh, subjected to uh, transverse forces as well as moments uh, moments uh, which are uh, applied to the uh, i mean axis i mean uh, uh, which is i can draw actually and okay you uh, show so you can draw and tell okay okay so a beam should be subjected to a uh, transverse load and it can have moment yes. perpendicular uh, uh, like this sir can you see it yes yes means uh, a member which is subjected to transverse load as well as moment which type of moment uh i mean it will be the moments acting about the axis uh, which is perpendicular to the longitudinal axis of the member okay can you tell me the types of which types of moments you have studied in strength of material sir mainly two types of moments uh, one is uh, twisting moment or torsional moment yes. and other is and uh, and the uh, other is the bending moment so here the bending moment will be applied on the beam okay okay uh, uh, can you draw the shear stress distribution in bending as well as uh, shear stress distribution in torsion and uh, let us assume the cross section is circular circular okay yes so for torsion okay sir just give me some time okay no issue sir for uh, for torsion uh, it will be like this uh, the stress will linearly vary with the radius okay 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 now for bending in case of bending okay. yes sir in case of bending and for circular cross section right yes yes uh sir i think the uh, variation should be like this but the variation uh, will be linear or not that i have to investigate for okay. it is uh, linear sure no sir uh, uh, that is i have to investigate that is the variation will be uh, proportional to q by b that is just give me some more time that is um no sir uh, this will not be linear Q is pi r square. Uh, uh, it will be a uh, parabolic or a or a second degree curve. Second degree curve. Okay, show me, show me your figure. The second one, can you see? Okay, okay. parabolic and maximum at the nodal axis. Sure. Yes, sir. So, what is the uh, difference between them? Huh? What, what is, is the? the what is the difference between them? means uh, uh, shear stress in torsion and shear stress in beam uh, difference between them means sir they act i mean the principle of them is different i mean the the formula uh, of them are different uh, one is tr by j and one is vq by p uh, vq by iv 
Okay, tell me, suppose if beam is subjected to pure bending, then how okay. shear is still induced? If, if a beam is subjected to pure bending, then the shear yeah. force is then the shear force is zero. So there should not be any uh, shear stress. Sure. I think so. Because uh, for pure bending, the shear force is, uh, the, uh, the, uh, is the, uh, the shear force uh, should be zero. So as the shear force is zero, so shear stresses should also be zero. Shear stress will also zero. So, what is the region of shear stress in beam? Why it will induced, and what type of loads causes this kind of stresses? Sir, if at the if at if at any cross section there is any uh, shear force acting, then we can have mm -hmm. the shear. Then then uh, we can have the shear stress. And as in the pure bending, the uh, no shear forces are acting. So, because there will be no uh, shear stress, that because we know that uh, shear stress equals to VQ by IB. VQ upon IP. IB. IB. Yes, sir. So, in but case he's... of this bending, the shear stress will not induced. Okay. So now, can you draw a cantilever beam? Yes, sir. And apply some load. Apply yes, a concentrated load, okay. correct? Apply a concentrated yeah. load at, at? A, some, at some distance from free end. Okay, sir. Okay. So hmm. now you draw shear force bending moment diagram and also draw deflection curve. Okay, sir. Okay. Deflections also. Ah, uh, sir, can you see them? Uh, this is uh, first one shear force. Second one is uh, bending Bend moment, before. and third one is deflection curve. Yeah. So. Okay, make it straight. Okay, after the load, what is the slope of the curve? Uh, in, that, in deflection curve. Uh, sir, after the load, the slope is the uh, okay. after the after the load, the slope is constant and mm -hmm. is equal to uh, the slope at the point of application of load at the point of application of load yes sir. okay okay no issue and suppose suppose you have a simply supported beam correct okay sir and it is subjected to a constant moment at mid span okay Correct. So, can okay. you draw the shear force and bending moment diagram? Okay, sir.
Mm. I'm showing, sir. Just a minute. Okay. Sir, it will be like this. Ah, uh, no, sir. Sorry, sir. Uh, 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 it will be like this. Uh, it's okay. And you applied a, a moment in the clockwise direction. Correct. So I think bending moment, in case of bending moment, you made some mistake. Okay, sir. So let me reach it. Just ah, uh, sir, I think I have made the mistake in sheer force because. Okay, now it is correct. Now it is correct. Okay. Okay, so if uh, for a beam, which cross section is most suitable in comparison of rectangular section and circular cross section. Uh, so we have to consider the uh, I by C, this, this thing. Sorry. Same area, sir. Same, yes, same cross section yes. area. Yes. Just we have to calculate that is. So we have to calculate, I mean, uh, we have to uh, compare the value of I by C, that is the section modulus. Without any calculation, can you tell me? Without any calculation. Without any calculation. Sir, without any calculation, how can we tell? Because we have, uh, I don't think so that I can tell without. Um, I have to compare the values of the section modulus. Okay, no issue. Leave it. Suppose, uh, can you tell? Can you tell me one last question? That is, in which case, in which state of stress condition? The Mohar circle is symmetric about both x and y axis. Uh, pure, uh, pure shear, pure torsion. Apart from pure shear, any other case? Apart from pure shear, if uh, apart from pure shear, if the uh, if the I think if the tensile and compressive stress are uh, same in magnitude. Okay, means biaxial state of stress with uh, equal in magnitude and unlike in nature stresses. Yes, sir. Correct. Okay. 
ओके शोम सो करेक्ट नाउ योर इंटरव्यू इज ओवर नाउ दिस इज फीडबैक टाइम ओके सर you give uh, mostly correct answers correct okay first but some more improvement is needed correct and even as we move later on then the depth ko depth ko hum kya karenge increase karenge correct ha we have so basically hai correct hai basic cheez humne dekhi hai next time jab hum milenge to thoda sa depth mein jayenge correct okay sir isi ke depth mein aur enter karenge तो वन बाय वन डेफ्थ में जाते जाएंगे जिससे आपका प्रॉपर प्रोफेशन फ्लो बनता चला जाए ठीक है ना तो अभी हमने अभी हमने प्रॉपर बेसिक्स पे देखा तो बेसिक्स करेक्ट है थोड़ा सा और इसको पढ़ेगा करेक्ट है डेफ्थ में पढ़ेगा इसको नेक्स्ट टाइम हम मिलेंगे तो जरूर हम थोड़ा डेफ्थ में घुसेंगे करेक्ट है और दूसरा दूसरा थोड़ा सा ना जब आप आंसर करोगे ना तो मेक श्योर करना कि आई कॉन्टेक्ट प्रॉपर बना के रखना और हाथ ऊपर ऐसे इधर उधर नहीं जाना चाहिए ना बॉडी लैंग्वेज बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है करेक्ट है ओके okay, सर थोड़ा सा देखेगा और बाकी नेक्स्ट टाइम हम लोग मिलेंगे और ज्यादा बढ़िया क्वेश्चन के साथ हाँ सर करेक्ट है सर्कुलर एंड रेक्टेंगुलर क्रॉस सेक्शन बाई नॉट कैलकुलेटिंग By not calculating how can we tell? Actually देखो क्या होता है कि हम बीम की स्ट्रेंथ डिफाइन करते हैं सेक्शन मॉडल से हायर द सेक्शन मॉडल लोअर विल बी दस एंड करेक्ट एंड सेक्शन मॉडल इज नथिंग बट इट इज द रेशियो ऑफ मूवमेंट ऑफ इनर्सिया डिवाइडेड बाई वाई मैक्स इफ आई एम से क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ बोथ सेक्शन आर सेम देन ऑब्वियसली द सर्कुलर क्रॉस सेक्शन हैव लेस Moment of inertia about total axis because the maximum area is situated near by the axis of rotation, correct? And yes. in case of rectangular cross section, the area of cross section is uniformly distributed. Even at a very far away distance, some area is available. That's why okay. the moment of inertia of rectangular cross section is more as compared to circular cross section, correct? And okay, if sir. moment of inertia is higher, then it means the rectangular cross section also has higher section modulus. And lower stress, correct? Okay. That's why rectangular cross section is much better than circular cross section, correct? For okay, the beam. Okay. 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 Okay.